So, first uh, rescue knot on our, our knot on our knots list um, is the clove hitch. We already did the clove hitch around a tool for hoisting a tool to the roof uh, for firefighting operations. This is going to be the clove hitch for rescue operations. All right. So, same way we're making a clove hitch, we need to put it around, uh, put it over the top of an object, one in, one out, one over the top of each other. The only difference is we're going to have to have a safety to it. So, the easiest way for us to use the clove hitch in the rescue. Um, portion of, of, of uh, firefighting here. We're going to go over the top of the object. This is the easiest way for me to remember it. You can tie it any way you want it, but this is the easiest way for me to remember it. I always try to go over the top or over instead of coming under to start my clove hitch. So going over, and then I'm going to make a cross over the top, and I'm going to come back right underneath that cross with, with the tail of my my hitch there, okay? Now, to put a safety in it, we don't need to come back on top, okay? If you come back on top, that's gonna open that hitch up and it's gonna let everything loose inside the hitch. The point of the clove hitch is to keep everything nice and tight, especially when we're using it for rescue purposes. So, when we wanna put a safety in it, you're gonna come all the way back under and around and you're gonna put a safety, okay? There's, we've got two safeties that we're using. We've got the barrel knot or the double overhand, or we have the overhand knot, just a simple overhand knot. Either is acceptable, all right? So barrel knot, or your double overhand, and then try to get it, try to get it tightened up to the, the butt of that. Try to get the butt of that safety knot, or the, the, the safety knot butted up against the clove hitch as close as possible. Anytime you tie a safety knot, it needs to be right up against the bottom of that knot. 